So today I want to talk about do Western women degrade themselves? And I want to talk about the history of this, how this started, how the degrading of women started, and I'll tell you to what level it has gone today. But I want to talk about feminism started as basically two things. And one was about sexual freedom, and the second one was basically we can do whatever guys do. If guys smoke, we can smoke. If they wear, they wear pants, we can wear pants. You know, so feminism basically became, in terms of images, in terms of the media, I'm going to talk about the philosophical and the academic discussions, but in terms of the media, it became basically, uh, let's, you know, s sexual freedom. And number two, we can do whatever guys do, right? So this is what feminism basically was. What happened as a result? Today in the West, when... A group of uh, athletes are asked, uh, how many women have sent you uh, selfies of themselves without any clothes, nude selfies of themselves, to you? Nine out of ten athletes will say, we've gotten nude selfies. In England, there is a middle class crisis amongst the, not the rich, not the poor, the middle class girls sending selfies to XYZ. Right, and this pro this problem of sending nude selfies is one that we all know. And then uh, on on top of that, uh, you know, how do guys get introduced to women? A lot of times, the way guys get introduced to women in in this Western culture is by porn, right? And so the image the guy has of the girl of what she's supposed to be. And uh, the and what women have done to themselves, they they started off with this. Our freedom is sexuality, and uh, then what happens is women seek external validation, right? Uh, they seek external validation because of the whole culture. You, you know, you try to sell anything. You sell cars. You sell cigarettes. You sell whatever. There has to be a a certain type of female there that then the female feels, in order to be validated, this is how she has to be. So, uh, so what has been the result of that? Uh, one out of every five females are raped in this country. One out of five females. Five, one out of five girls are raped in this country, subhanAllah. In every 20 minutes, a female is beaten up. 20 million women are stalked every year. More than 20, uh, sorry, more than 19 million women are stalked every year. Right? And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about Alexis Jones, who has spent a lot of time in locker rooms listening to guys and their conversation in locker rooms when they're talking about, you know, just freely talking about what they feel. And, uh, you know, again, the problem is Guys also, because the whole culture, as uh, one of the TED Talks was about r the rape culture that we have in this country. And basically, you know, fame, money, you want to be famous, you want to make money, and have sex with as many women as possible. This is what the average Joe Schmo, average American, African, Western boy thinks. Why does he think that? A lot of it's because women have degraded themselves to that level. And I'm going to talk about, you know... Uh, you know, and, and for a lot of people it's about performance, right? Popularity and possessions. How many things do you have? How many times were you with different girls, right? How many possessions have you had? So, now what has become the result? You have more women, for the first time this year, more women who are graduating colleges, college, with college degrees than men, right? And the men have been dumbified and if you go to the Western universities, who is in the Western universities? Mostly foreigners is a big number of the people that are there. And then girls. And so, why, how, how come the guys have been dumbified? This is a very important point because as the girl degrades herself because she's looking for external validation, the guy also, popularity, how many girls have I been with, the guy is also looking for external validation. And what is to be cool is to have external validation and not have anything internal, not anything of real substance, not to have... So women who have no self-respect, then what do they do? They look for respect in an external way, 
right? And then there are now studies coming out, and I can't even go into the type of discussions that take place in the locker room. Like, it, it would just not be appropriate for me to use the language. But if anyone heard about the language that was used by Trump prior to the, you know, when the tapes leaked about Trump prior to his running for president, while he was running for presidency, uh, that is maybe remnants of, or it's even worse in the locker room, actually. But women have never felt more unsafe in their life when they are in public spaces. In fact, uh, four out of every ten women have been whistled at, heard comments, right, when they were in their school years. And then three out of ten women hear about, hear whistling or sexual comments of different sorts after they finish college. Uh, so, three out of four women feel unsafe after dark, even in public spaces. In fact, there's a quote I'd like to share with you, if you don't mind. Uh, the quote is, um, the chief, uh, her, her name is Tanya Barron, chief executive of Plan International UK. She says, public spaces should be safe spaces for girls. It is unacceptable that women and girls feel this unsafe in our cities and that so many experience street harassment. And the, the, the conversation is so big because women feel unsafe more than ever before. Women are not more happy after the feminist movement than before the feminist movement. This is what the studies show. The studies show women, instead of having substance, instead of the feminist movement coming and giving them substance, it has made them an object, the very thing that they were fighting against, that don't make us just objects and possessions, by putting them in a place where they were seeking sexual freedom and then became, then what happened as a result to themselves, they were seeking external validation. And when they were seeking external validation, they objectified themselves. When they objectified themselves, what did the guys do? The guys went and also, instead of getting something from the inside, they also sought external validation. Right? And then, what happens? Three out of four women feel unsafe even in public spaces. Alex Jones who started uh, I Am That Girl project, and then now she started the Protect Her project. Why? Because women need, according to her, men also to stand up and protect the women, to be of those guys. And this is where she gets it wrong. She gets it wrong because she says, the problem is the men, and the solution is the men. The problem is the men because they're the ones that are doing the harassment. The solution is the men because some guys need to become real men, and they need to stand up for the women. I say the problem is the women. They need to stop objectifying themselves and degrading themselves. You know, this is why Islam is so beautiful. That everybody makes fun of, oh, why women cover themselves? Why women cover themselves? Let me tell you, when a woman wears a hijab, when she covers herself, she is, she is forced to be in a situation where she will find her value, not on her objectivity, not being a, in terms of her body, but she will find her value in her personality in something other than just her body. And then not only that, then when the boy grows up seeing his mother in hijab, and his sister in hijab, and his daughters in hijab, then when he looks at other women and they're also wearing hijab, it's by the process of association, he sees other women as his daughters, as his mothers, as his sisters. This process, when you grow up seeing your close relatives that you would never, and you know, Alex Jones talks about this, is that when she talks to these athletes in the locker rooms, you know, when she has these conversations with them about not doing sexual harassment to women, what does she do? So interesting. Uh, she takes the pictures of their girlfriends and their, 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 their mothers and their wives or, or, or their sisters, and when she's talking about those, she shows them the pictures of those. And this is exactly what the Prophet did, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when somebody asked the Prophet, I feel like doing zina, I feel like doing adultery. And the Prophet said, you know, he referred to the mother, he referred to the daughter, he referred to the sister. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O kama qala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, the point is that how do you make that association between other women 
and your mother and your sister and your daughter. It happens when you grow up seeing your mothers and sisters and daughters wearing that hijab. And then when you look at other women wearing that hijab, you make that association. You don't objectify them. So it starts not with the men. It starts with the women who stop, need to stop degrading themselves, objectifying themselves. And women as a collective sisterhood need to put them into a state. This is real freedom. When you will no longer be an object, when you are forced to look for validation beyond your externalities, beyond the external, to something internal, something of real substance, something that will give you self-respect. So this is what I wanted to say today, and it's a vicious cycle, because when you, when the girl objectifies herself, she seeks valid, you know, now she, she's, and she sees, oh, you know, look at all those beautiful women out there, therefore I have to be just as beautiful, and th if I'm not beautiful, then I'm no good. So then now, to seek validation, she does what she does with other guys, and they say, wow, you're really beautiful. She's teaching them, and they're teaching her to seek external validation, but in the Islamic response to this. This is not the way to do it. The way to do it is to teach the girl to cover herself, to seek her validation with her personality, with her brains, with her talent, with something other than just her externality. She should embrace her beauty, but at the same time she should be more than just her beauty. Please subscribe to us. Thank you.